guys, this is Brian, aka Texas Treasures, and today I'm bringing you the top 20 things you can do to increase your Poshmark and eBay sales. So, um, I've been doing a lot of closet reviews and helping people increase their Poshmark sales, and I just want to kind of share with you 20 things that kind of stand out to me. And of course, I do individual closet reviews, which are more individualized, but these are 20 things that I've seen that you can implement to help increase and grow your Poshmark and eBay sales. So let's get straight into it. All right, number one is lighting and good photographs. So you want to take good photographs and you want to have good lighting. So here is my closet and in here is what I'm talking about. See the pure white background we have behind here? Now, I use a, um, a Havix light box and I have used photo fuse before we'll give you these white backgrounds you can use that app or my current system using the Havix light box with an LED ring light gives me that pure white background and it saves me a little bit of time of not having to do the additional step um, so you do want to make sure you have good photographs and you want that white crisp background it really helps your item stand out compared to the people who are just throwing their shoes or their items on a, on a dirty bed that's all wrinkly. Um, you, want, you want your items to stand out, so make sure you're trying to get those pure white backgrounds. And um, yeah, so number two. The number two thing you can do to improve your sales on Poshmark is to optimize your title. When people are searching for items, most of the time they're using the search bar. So you want to have good titles. Let's, let's take this one right here from my closet as an example. You want to start with the brand, right? This is Steve Madden, and then, you're, then the model. This is a, a Heathrow 982. Put in other keywords. These are chukka, which is the style of boots, men's, and then the size. Now, Poshmark, you have less characters in your title than you do on eBay. eBay, you'll be able to get more in. And a way you can find a good title is searching souls. You know, go to eBay. I prefer searching on eBay. You can also do it on Poshmark. Um, search, put in the type of item you have, for example, these shoes. Then select the filters, pre-own, click sold. And then I like to sort them from high to low because the items that are selling for the highest, you want to know what are they doing. They usually have really good pictures, really good titles, and really good descriptions. And then incorporate basically their title, maybe change it up on your size and a few keywords, but you want to do what's already working. And so that's tip number two, make sure you have good titles. Tip number three on ways to increase your Poshmark and eBay sales is a good description. Um, your description box down here, as a rule of thumb, I go ahead and just put my title back on the top like if it's a pair of shoes, I'm going to include obviously the men's size, the condition, or are there any defects you want to let them know about? I like to let them know that I'm going to do same or next day shipping, and then I put my VIN number. Now, you could put a lot more in your description, um, but there is a balance to this, right? If, if you're spending too long writing a description and, and there's information that's not really needed, then that's going to slow down your listing process. So you want the good basics in your description. Um, that will help your item sell. So make sure you do that. All right. Tip number four. When it tip number four to grow your Poshmark sales or eBay sales for that matter is to fix the imperfections. You know, um, I sourced these boots right here, and I picked them up at a thrift store, and they did not look this good. The leather was dry. They hadn't been conditioned. So it doesn't take a lot of money or time to get a shoe cleaning kit or to wash clothes or to get a stain out of some clothes. So on these, I cleaned them with my shoe brush and I applied leather conditioner and it really brought the suppleness out and it brought the original color back. So you'd be surprised what a little uh, leather conditioner will do for some shoes. And obviously you can do these same things on clothes or other items you sell. Just take a few minutes. Now, once again, that's a balance, right? You don't want to spend 30 minutes on a pair of shoes that you're selling for $35, but two or three minutes to, to, to make them stand out. 
and to be able to sell them for 35 versus maybe 20, that's, that's the balancing act you have to do. So make sure you're fixing the small imperfections that you can clean quickly. All right, number five, let's talk about pricing. On Poshmark, also on eBay now, e eBay's kind of following suit from Poshmark. When you price things, leave some wiggle room for offers because people nowadays expect to get things usually below your asking price. And you know, when you're considering that, you're also gonna have to look at the sell-through rate, the demand for these, how hot, are, how hot is your item, but for most items, you're going to price it a little bit higher. Let's say my goal is to make 30 on this. Maybe I've priced it at 35 so I can send a 10% or 20% offer or someone can send me an offer and I can still meet my profit goals. So make sure you leave wiggle room in your pricing. All right. Tip number six on growing your Poshmark on eBay sales. You want to focus on, um, in my opinion, one niche niche or niche at a time. Really learn that niche and then also create templates. For example, shoes are my bread and butter. It's one of the main things I, I sell. I spend a lot of time learning about shoes and I will have templates built in so I don't have to type this out each time, right? I can just copy paste and then change a few of the keywords, change the size here. So use templates. Um, and also really dig in and learn deep about one niche at a time. Once you've learned that niche, you can move on to another one, but be careful. Um, I, I believe in focusing down to a few things that you can really be good at. All right, next, number seven. Number seven is set listing goals each week. Obviously, the more you list, the more you sell. And if you don't have a goal, you're just going to list when you feel like it. And what if you don't feel like it? You know, Netflix is enticing. The game is enticing. Sometimes you just want to chill. But set a goal for each week because the more items you have for sale, the more you're going to sell. Like currently this week, um, my goal is a minimum of 50 items listed this week. And I've got to check that off by the end of the week. And over time, I tend to try to grow my goals. So set a goal. You don't have to start off large, right? You can set a small goal. I'm going to list one item five times a week. And then maybe the next week, you, I'm going to list three items five times a week. And then you can grow those goals as you develop those habits and it becomes easier for you. All right. Tip number eight on how to improve your Poshmark and eBay sales is ship fast. Um, I, I try to ship same or next day, no, lotter, no longer than next day, because when people receive their items quickly, you're more likely to get positive feedback, whether that's on eBay or Poshmark. And the more feedback you have, it's just going to help you with future sales. And I mean, think about it from the customer's point of view. When you order something, don't you like to receive it quickly? I mean, especially in these days where we have Amazon, that's who we're competing with. We've, you've got to ship quickly. So get in the habit of shipping. Get all your supplies that you need. Pre-order you your USPS priority boxes, which are free. Get your station set up so you can get your inventory system set up. Pull your orders, ship them, take them out. Same or next day. So ship faster. All right. Number nine on top 20 ways to increase Poshmark or eBay sales is decide on a business model, right? Um, are you, to me, there, there's a couple different approaches. Are you going to do the volume game where you go out there and you can source, you can find many items where you can make five, $10 profit. You can go to any thrift store and come out with a cartload. You can go to garage sales and come out with a cartload. You can go to estate sales. You can buy a storage unit. Are you going to sell a lot of items, which means you're going to have to list a lot of items and make a small profit on each and do a volume game? Um, you can be successful doing that. Of course, when you do that, you're probably going to get to the point where you need some help. Or are you going to be more selective? Are you going to cherry pick? Are you going to go for the higher ASP, the, the higher average sell price? You're only going to sell items that sell for, say, $35, $40 or more. And maybe you're spending more time sourcing and you're passing on a lot of items and just picking those items that will bring you that sell price. And also the sell-through rate is good on. So decide on a model 
which model are you going to choose? Um, and there are other models, but and there's, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but you got to decide on one and follow that game plan. All right, number 10, number 10 tip on 20 ways to increase your Poshmark or eBay sales is consider scaling, right? Um, as a single individual, now you don't want to do this too fast, and you may not want to do it at all, but consider at a certain point. After a while, once you learn how to source, how to list, how to take good photographs, you got your inventory system down, you got your shipping down, there's going to come to a, a certain point where you can only, you can't get any more done. So you're going to kind of max out where your cells are at. And if you want to go higher, you're going to have to scale. Consider outsourcing those tasks that you can bring in help. Um, I just recently, I just recently, well, I've been doing it for a few months now. I have a shipper that comes in and he ships out my items for me. He packages and ships them out and I have a lister. Um, my son, Justin is currently listing for me. I've taught him how to do it. He does a, does a great job. Matter of fact, he, he listed these for me last night, did a great job. Um, taught him how to photograph, how to do the research and, he is now doing the bulk of the listing, and if I have free time, I will also list. And that frees me up because how can you, what, what activities can you do to grow the business? For me, sourcing is most important. Maybe networking or trying to grow YouTube is important. So if I can, um, if I can outsource, if I can have somebody do my listing, someone do my packaging, that's saving me time to do those more important things like sourcing, um, networking and trying to grow my YouTube channel. So consider when, it, when are you ready to scale? Are you ready to scale? How much do you want to scale? You know, at a certain point, I may scale more. You know, I might bring on a second lister. Um, but you, you've just got to consider that. All right. Number 11. Number 11 on top 20 tips to increase your Poshmark on eBay sales. Use all eight of your photographs, guys. Um, don't use, well, on Poshmark, it's eight. eBay gives you 12. I would say use at least eight on both. Get different angles and also take, take good, good pictures. All right. Look at these shoes. I do quarter turns, get the fronts, um, get the back, get the sides, get the, um, what do you call it? The size and the style number and on shoes, the bottom so that they can see what they're like. The more photographs you have you want the customer to be able to see your item from the best light possible so don't just take one or two pictures now it will depend on your item if it's a simple t-shirt you know maybe a picture of the front maybe you zoom in on a logo uh, maybe a third picture of the back a fourth picture of the tag is fine but on items on other items that are more intricate use more pictures i recommend using all eight pictures and on eBay, it also, and probably Poshmark, it's going to help you in the algorithm. They, they want to see sellers who are showing the item from as many angles as possible. All right. Number 12 on our top 20 tips to increase Poshmark and eBay sales is research. Research, research, research. This one is so important, guys. Um, spend time researching solds. And this kind of ties into your niches, too. Like, I still do this. I'll spend... 15, 20 minutes a day researching solds on eBay. You can also do this on Poshmark. It's better on eBay, um, but where I'm at right now, they have the eBay site blocked. <laughs> so I'll, sh I'll show you what that looks like. Looks like on Poshmark, right? So whatever you're going to be listing or start researching, like let's say shoes, type it in the search bar, type in sold right here, click that. And I put the price point, right? I want to focus on actually let's narrow this even more. Let's say I want to learn shoes that are selling for over $50 on Poshmark. And these are, are sorted by just shared. So these are items that should have sold most recently. So you can do this to learn which brands. Now, you can do this for any category. It could be jeans. Um, I mean, heck, it could be electronics. I mean, if you're on eBay. Um, could be dresses. Could be suits. Could be anything. But let's just use shoes as an example. Like right here, new attack. Um Born train sandal. Here we got a pair of Vans, some Cole Haan boots. 
Now, this is better on eBay because I would filter this to pre-owns since that's mostly what I sell. Um, it's not as easy. You could click just new with tags or all. It's not as easy. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's do closet. That should take us out of boutique. So these should be mostly used. I don't know why a pair of jeans are in here. See, new with tag. These are all new with tag Birkenstock, but Birkenstock. And even if it gives you the new, it'll help you understand what the new prices are. Um, pair of Jeffrey Campbell, a lot of women's shoes, Cole Haan, high heels, pair of old gringo cowboy boots sold for 200, um, some Gucci, some Prada. So do this. It is easier on eBay. Like I said, I'd show you right now, but where I'm at, <laughs> they've got eBay blocked for some crazy, crazy reason. So do your research. Um, it'll help you learn what items are selling for which will help you when you're outsourcing. It'll save you time. All right, number 13, top 20 tips to increase your sales on Poshmark and eBay. Send offers, right? Uh, more and more people are expecting to get the item below your listing price. So we talked about that earlier, price a little higher, and then send offers. On Poshmark, I, um, I will send offers twice a day, in the morning and at the evening. Anybody that's like my item, let me show you what that looks like real quick. So in your news feed right here, um, if you go over here to like, these are all people that have liked these items. So these shoes right here, I could click on it. And by the way, it's quicker to do this on your mobile app, right? And right here, offer a price drop. And I'm going to send an offer to likers. These are just people who have liked it. Let's select 10, 20, or 30. I'm going to do 20% off. Apply the offer. They do require a shipping discount. And it shows you your earnings you will get and submit. So anyone who's like that um, will get that offer. And if you do that for every item, and you can see I've got a lot of a lot of likes on my closet three minutes ago, five minutes ago, 19, 25. So if, if I would do this for the past 12 hours, I do it at nighttime. Um, so about down to here. And I also do it in the morning. So I'm constantly sending offers to likers. This always leads to sales. You can do a similar thing on eBay. You can send offers to watchers. Um, so when they're watching your item, you can select that, send your discount, write a little note if you like, and send it out. That also usually will lead to some sales. All right, number 14 on top 20 ways to increase Poshmark and eBay sales. Um, keep your best items at the top. Now this is for Poshmark, right? So let me go to my closet to show you what I'm talking about. All right, my, well, right now, and see, this is another, I'm talking about earlier about outsourcing. Someone is sharing my closet for me. I share my closet a lot. Um, so it's not going to be accurate because these, if I refresh it, you'll see it's being shared. And so this, these at the top will be changing. But if my closet was static, you will find that I have my best selling items at the top and I do replenishables. Um, so keep your best selling items, or if you're just doing all one-offs, keep your items that are most popular at the top. Because when people go to your page, they're not gonna scroll all the way down usually. They're, they're gonna look at your top four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Um, they're gonna look at these top items. So keep those best sellers at the top. All right, number 15, top 20 tips to increase Poshmark and eBay sales is send bundle offers. Send bundle offers. now. I do replenishables, but you can do this on one-offs too. I, I did a closet review. Um, this lady was selling a lot of jeans and clothing items that were priced $15 or less. So you could do a bundle where you, in, in your title and in your description, add three, three, any three clothing items priced $15 or less, add them to a bundle, send me an offer for $30 and I'll accept. I do that for jewelry right here, three for 30. It's also on my description. They can add three pieces of jewelry right here. You can see it. Um, add this with two other items, price 20 or less, and submit an offer for 30. Now, I'm going to make a little bit less per item, but I'm going to increase my volume, and I get lots of bundle sales. So consider using bundle offers in your Poshmark closet. You can do a similar thing in eBay where you can give a discount. I have that where if you buy X amount, you get a discount. Or if you buy X amount of quantity, you can get a discount. So use those bundle offers. People love to get good deals. I mean, don't you? I, I do. So use bundle offer, offers. Number 16, top 20 ways to increase Poshmark and eBay sales. Answer questions when people have comments. Um, 
whether it's on eBay or Poshmark, you know, they'll ask comments like this person, do you have pics of the inside? And so, you know, I would just, actually, I would go in here and actually I need to do this. Um, I haven't had a chance to get to it, but take a picture of that inside. They're asking about the, the size tag and then answer them. Say, yes, I do. I've just uploaded that picture. Thanks for, thanks for asking. If you've got more questions, let me know, right? Just good customer service. So answer questions. Um, number 17, top 20 ways to increase sales on Poshmark on eBay is, especially this is, this is Poshmark specific, share your closet, share your closet, share your closet, at least three times a day, your whole closet. That's my recommendation. I have my closet shared between me and my, and my helper. It's shared over 4,000 times per day. Once I went to this model, my sales probably increased from two or three sales a day to 10 plus sales per day. There is nothing more important than sharing your closet on Poshmark. Every time you share it in the search results, it will go to the top. So if somebody was looking for Levi's 550 shorts, when I share this right here, it will then take that to the top of the listing. Because when people are searching by default, it goes to just share it's not, you have to change this if you want to change it. So just shared. So sharing your closet on Poshmark um, is the key. And like one of my previous, previous uh, tips, have somebody outsource that. You know, you got a daughter or son, you want to pay them X amount per hour or to, to share your closet. It will definitely, in my opinion, pay for itself more than pay for itself in the number of cells that you're going to get. Okay, um, number 18, top 20 tips to increase sales on Poshmark on eBay is, uh, it goes into sharing, right? Share in the parties. They have theme parties, especially the 9 p.m. party. Let's look right here. Here, let's see what parties we got happening. At 11, we got the free people, uh, best in tops at 2, best in boutique at 6, and then they'll have a 9 p.m. party. Um, the 9 p.m. I found is when most people are most active. So share your closet, the items that, that, that relate to that theme party, share them at 9 p.m. It'll get you more followers. It'll get you more sales. It'll just get you more exposure to, sh so share during parties. Number 19, top 20 tips to increase sales on Poshmark on eBay is learn what's trending. And let me show you an easy way right here. There's a couple things, right? Well, number one is the parties. You can see these brands. They're having parties on these brands. So you can click on it and you will find the trending, the trending brands, free people, anthropology, Birkenstock, and more. And you could click on that and give you more. That's one way. And also if you click on the well, if you click on the brands right here, well, not all the brands. Come on. Come on, Texas Treasures. Let's go back. So if you click on brands, it'll highlight. Now the, they're going to put their best brands here. So on women's, Lululemon, Coach, Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton, Nike, Tory Burch, Case Spade, Chanel, Free People, J. Crew, Men's, um, similar, True Religion. So if you're looking for what's trending, look at the parties, look at these brands. Also, you can look at kids and you can look at home, home brands too. So that's a good little pro tip. Um, so you'll know what to look for when you're outsourcing. If, if you're trying to figure out what's trending. All right, last number 20 in our top 20 tips and tricks that will help you grow your Poshmark in eBay sales. By the way, if you appreciate this content, smash the like button below. That'll help me out. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. This is the type of content I produce. If you want to be notified when new videos are dropped, hit the notification bell. And then comment below, what's, what's one tip that you use to increase sales on Poshmark or eBay or any other platform for that matter? All right, number 20 is consume information. There is so, that's what you're doing right now. You're consuming free information on YouTube. Um, there's tons of it out there. You can take a course. I've paid for courses. I did one on storage units from Wade's Venture, learned how to do storage units. So now that's in my arsenal. I read books, audio books, um, podcasts. There's so much information that, that's out there. So consume that information, grow your mindset, grow your knowledge, and it's ultimately going to lead to better sales. 
Well, that's it, guys. That's been our top 20 sales. Once again, smash the like button, subscribe, comment below. And until next time, happy treasure hunting, and let's grow those closets.